So YouTube totally sucks ass and will not let me record a video even though I've done it three times because the internet keeps freaking out. So I decided to do it on here. Um everyone's asking me about stupid poofy dreads that I have. Like I used to have red and black ones, or red and purple ones, or blue ones, or something. And my hair was colored that way. And then I had these. Because they look like this, they have the poop balls. <laughs> I also have these. I have the curly ones, and they're like, oh, what? Boof. Well, people are like, how do you make them? What are you doing? Da -da 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 -da. So, I'm going to show you. Even though I just did a 20 minute tutorial and showed people and didn't upload, so that's ended up what that was. <sighs> My throat hurts. I'm doing these videos and talking too much. Oh my god. Um. Uh, hmm. Here we go. Water. Comb. Little clippy. Something to pull the dread hair and face. Whatever. I don't know. <sighs> Woo! Tired. Um, make sure you have 100% can on hair. Like this. This stuff's. It's so pretty. Alright. Nah, that's too much. So, I'm gonna make a really big one. Clip. Hold it in place. I'm not doing it all at once, because this is going to be double-ended. I comb it like crazy. Make it so it's really thin on the bottom. The more you push it towards the center, the poopier it's going to be. Can you let it? Straightener or steamer if you have a steamer, you don't need the water. If you have excess that comes off like this, you can just throw it away. I didn't see it all because the string was on. Make sure it's really tight at the base. So you gotta make it like a little proof. Lay it on the hairs a bit. And then you twist those. So it kind of looks like a mouse or a rat, which is pretty much what you want to do. So, flip it. 
Make sure you're twisting when you're doing this, twisting it the right way. Your hand's gonna be wet, probably. Or mine is, anyways. Um, keep pushing back. Put it down, put it down, put it down. I'm trying to make a cage for the poof. That's why it's good to have the base nice and. Right, take your clip off. Okay, it's gonna take. Sometimes it gets tangled, but it's synthetic hair, so whatever. Just pull it, and then you twist it in the middle. Spray it. I'm twisting it as I do it, so. so. Yeah, you can cut off the little extra fibers to make it a little bit cleaner. So, yeah. But. Yeah, here's the first one. You have like eight of these in your hair, your hair is gonna be like, woo! Have long tails. Then you just gotta put it together. In this small, medium, large. Put all these in your hair. You're like, what? You end up looking crazy! But yeah. Do. Probably six to eight on each side. You can kind of gather it and yeah. That's how you make the dreads. Um, once you gather them all up, the part in the middle, this, this part. So you take them and then here I'll show you. So you're going to take all of them and put them like this. So they all go in there. And you take the rubber band and with like a really stiff clip like this one. Probably one that matches. That's nice and tight. 
so it can stay in your hair really good. Like that. Yeah, and then you just clip on. So yeah. Hope this answers all your flippy questions and whatnot. Um, I guess this is going to be the rat tail dreads since they look like tiny rats. Um, I'm really tired. I'm going to bed. But, yeah. Bye guys, don't forget to subscribe.